I'm so happy to be here today with John and Carol Casey and their daughter Jackie. Welcome, Casey's. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we're going to be talking about your experience with foster care and adoption. And so maybe you could start by just telling me, um, John and Carol, what made you decide to open your home and your hearts through adoption and foster care? All right. We had um, two children uh, that were in third grade and kindergarten and <clears throat> totally enjoying our parenting experience. And we would always read in the Boston Globe, the Sunday's child and which was a child that needed a home mm -hmm. and we'd heard uh, different stories on the news and wanted to um, help in some way so we inquired about becoming foster parents and that was the beginning of our journey so we have um, finished the uh, home study and became foster parents and like so many foster parents um, you become so attached to the children that come into your home mm -hmm. and uh, I've, there's around 70 percent of um, foster parents that end up adopting and that is certainly what happened with us as well. Okay, great, including Jackie, and your beautiful daughter who's <laughs> yes, here with you today. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, we had adopted our, our little boy first of all and um, then we continued to be foster parents and this adorable little 18 month old girl came into our home and, um, and we fell in deeply in love with her and I think vice versa mm -hmm. and we searched our soul and prayed a lot over that mm -hmm. what to do when um, it turned out that she would not be going back home and would that be the right decision for us to adopt her and so we ad went forward and we're so happy we did we're um, so lucky to have her that's great and how about you John what's been your experience or with regard to getting involved in the foster care to begin with. Were you reluctant at the beginning? Or? No, no, I wasn't. Uh, we both had the same feelings mm -hmm. in terms of both of us had looked at the newspapers and seen the, had seen the stories on TV that were troublesome to both of us. Mm -hmm. So that we actually, both of us, were mo more interested in getting involved than uh, staying on the sidelines anymore. Right. So that's where we went with it. and. Uh, I can say in most of the children we had, for however long we had them, it was just a blessing because a lot of times they come into your house and they're scared silly, rightfully so. It's a whole new thing. They've been pulled out of a house mm -hmm. uh, and, and dropped in this un family they've never met before. Right. And it's been a, it, it, you, by the time we end up having them go back home, hopefully to a, a good caring position, it ends up just such a blessing. Just that's all it is. It's a blessing. You just you, f you hate to see them go. That's the hard part. Right. Very hard. Right. But you know, in the end, if they if it can work out with their family, that's the best for them. Right. So that's, exactly. That's it's hard to say goodbye right. like that. But in Jackie's case, you you got to keep her in your home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> Maybe Jackie, right. can you share a little bit about your memories as a child and what your experience was like? Um, well, I actually had a great experience. I was really lucky to have some adoptive parents who were really encouraging and enjoyed talking about adoption with me. There were no secrets, so mm -hmm. I was very comfortable with myself, you know, being adopted and just they always were open about everything. And I have an open adoption, which means that I would see my birth mother on occasion and I would go on visits with her and my mom would come with me. So. They were just so open and loving about the entire thing. So I think I had the best experience I could have possibly had, really. That's amazing. That is beautiful. <laughs> I know a lot of us, when we hear about foster care and adoption, we hear some sad, really sad, heartbreaking <laughs> stories sometimes. And right. it, sometimes that's what gets play in the news. But we don't hear enough about people like you who are saying, this yeah. has been the best thing ever for me. And mm -hmm. what a positive experience. And even getting to keep a relationship with your birth mother mm -hmm. through that. What was that like for you? Did you feel threatened by that relationship? Were you worried? Uh, uh, yes, a little bit worried. Sure. You know, just That's not knowing natural. what that road would be like. Mm -hmm. um, but it's turned out that it's been a very good for all of us. Um, so this way, Jackie knows what she looks like, um, what her mother looked like, mm -hmm. and, and that relationship. And as the years went on, um, Jackie could see why she couldn't parent Mm -hmm. And that helped explain because um, most uh, children who are adopted want to know why sure. why they weren't able to stay with their family. So um, it's been a, a, you know awkward at times, but mm -hmm. um, down overall, it's been a very good experience for all of us. That's great. And Jackie yeah. has thrived. You're now a graduate of Boston College. Yes. 
<laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about the award that your parents recently received? So um, the Congressional Coalition on Adoption, every year they hold a big gala um, and award people for being angels in adoption, just meaning that they've been a great influence in the community with adoption and foster care. So I really just wanted to recognize my parents just because of all the hard work they've done and all the foster kids that have come into their homes and they're always so loving with them and they've been so great with my brother who has also adopted um, our situation. So I just really thought that they deserve to be recognized. And obviously others agreed with that. So w tell me yeah. a little bit, John, what that was like to receive that award for you. Uh, well, it was surprising to begin with <laughs> and uh, uh, very grateful for the award. And um, we got to go down to Washington, D.C., and they had a gala there, and we were, um, we got a, uh, a certificate of appreciation from Senator Markey. Wonderful. And um, it just, it was a just, overwhelming when we got to Washington to see all of the parents across the country that are involved in foster care. Oh, I imagine that would have been really inspiring. You know, yes. you're here in Massachusetts and you, you've got a very parochial view of what it <laughs> is and you go down into a situation like that and see that many people so dedicated and so willing to go out uh, and, and do that work. It's just overwhelming. Amazing. Mm. Now, can you yes. tell me just a little bit quickly before we finish up here about your, your family, your, your other children, and how the, the foster care and adoption has influenced them? Okay. Um, well, you always wonder when you get into foster care whether you're, um, what the impact is on your birth children. Mm -hmm. And our older daughter is a social worker. Uh, and she works with the Department of Children and Families, so wow. she definitely saw the passion of um, helping out. It's and passing on to the next generation. Our other daughter became a teacher, so again, she also wants to work with children and um, is wonderful at that. So um, I don't think we harm them at all, and um, they were very on board to become wonderful. a foster family. So you've just so inspired more of the same. That's beautiful. And I want to thank you for being here with us today and sharing your story of generosity and your wonderful success story that you have here <laughs> with Jackie, who's thank amazing. You. And I, I want to thank you for encouraging our viewers by sharing your story. So thank you for being here oh, with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great.